Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Prague, Czech Republic, and Czech Republic is known for their meat. And so even on any kind of food tour, you would eat a lot of meat. But today we're gonna go specifically on a meat food tour, Czech food tour of Prague. We're gonna eat at some of the famous meat places. We might go out of town a little ways to this uh, place that's known for their game meat. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Peter first at a restaurant that many of you recommended. And so that's where we're gonna begin this tour. This is the first spot. It's actually a butcher. They have specialized in all sorts of meats, uh, but they do have a small restaurant at the front where I know they're making some of the best meat products in Prague. And so when I asked you, this was probably one of the number one recommendation that many people recommended to me in Prague to try. Uh, I think the hot dogs, the burger, and I think they might have daily specials as well. We'll find out. Concept, and I read that one of their main concept is that uh, they noticed like a lack of quality in some of the meat products, especially sausages around Czech Republic. And so their aim is to provide really high quality sausages, really high quality meats, all Czech meats. We got the meatloaf. The meatloaf is very famous here, the Czech meatloaf. And then also we got the steak tartar. And I think Peter ordered a few other things. I can't wait. So the first things have arrived, we, that meatloaf looks incredible, and then also some of the sausages, which they're very well known for, and then we also got steak tartare, which is on its way, right? It's coming, yeah. All right, what should we start with? Uh, maybe the sausage. I can, I can. Everything has arrived, I'm gonna start with that sausage. Are you feel free to dig in? Okay. Here you go. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, just the step of quality that you can taste. That snap, that skin around the outside is incredible. Then it's really meaty. I mean, you notice the meatiness. The grind of the meat is not too fine. So it has some like meaty texture to it. Wow, that is next level. And that, that casing, that casing stands out. And next up for that meatloaf, again, dip it into the, the mustard. Like wow. Yeah. Oh, you can taste the quality of the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's because it's a butcher, that's what they specialize in. Mm. Just a light spice in that, in that meatloaf. And I think it might be, it is a meatloaf. That's a real meatloaf. And that's the best meatloaf I think I've ever had, that's for sure. Mm. And with that mushroom with those pickles. Let's do the steak tartare. Yeah. Take a clove of the garlic and rub it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the final thing we got is the steak tartare, which raw meat is always one of my favorites. And this one, the, the meat is already completely mixed, uh, probably with the egg, with onions, with some spices. And then what you do is you take some of that toast, and then you take a clove of garlic, you wipe on the garlic, so you've got garlic toast, and then you, you spread on the meat jam. Mm. Oh wow. Mm, you taste the garlickiness of that. I love the fresh cloves of garlic. It's rich from the egg yolk, which I believe is within it. You taste the onions. Oh, that's so good. It's all good and the hot dogs are amazing, but the tartare, that is just next level. That is pure. That is so unbelievably good meat jam. And the meatloaf is also incredible. Oh. Wiping on the fresh garlic makes a huge difference. That, that like really makes it for me. Yeah, this is just great meat. I think we got here at a perfect time at a perfect day because Peter was saying that normally, even at this time, uh, the line would be going out the door 
people would be standing out here waiting to get in because it's just a very small shop. Uh, but we got lucky to immediately just get in, get a seat, order. It's fast, it's delicious. The tartare, highly recommended. The hot dogs are among the best probably you'll ever have. I'm gonna dream about that hot dog snap tonight. Oh, that was good. We have one more main restaurant that's a traditional Czech restaurant, especially specializing in game meat, which now is the game meat season, so I'm very excited. And it's a little ways out of town, so we're gonna drive there, but in order to rest our stomachs a little bit, we might stop at a coffee shop. <laughs> Stopping on our way to have a coffee before going to the next meat restaurant. Like a, an industrial feel. It's kind of like in the back of a, you walk through an alley kind of through the, the red bricks. I love just how spacious this entire space is and it's really like industrial, really like warehouse style just with a huge open floor. There's even a sneaker shop uh, to the right hand side and then the whole coffee floor with sofas and like it feels like the living room you've always wanted to have. And good coffee to go with the nice environment too. you pronounce it? Na. Uh, na pekarnie. Na pekarnie. Pekarna is a bakery. Ah, oh, pekarna. Ah, okay. So it's like by the bakery or at the bakery. By the bakery. Even though we're only 30 minutes outside of Central Prague, it's nice to get out of the city, out of Central Prague, to see a bit of the countryside, to see this kind of like quiet, peaceful village setting. And this is a beautiful restaurant. Micah. Micah, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Step inside. I love the feel of this place. It really feels like you're entering into a home. The checkered white and red seats and tablecloths and the wooden tables. Yeah, they specialize in game meat, but also traditional style, very traditional style Czech dishes. So we're gonna get some of their traditional dishes. In fact, one, one. how do you say the name of that one dish? Svičkova. Svičkova, okay. And that's like one of the most common. That's the most popular that's Czech like, dish. You can, you, Peter told me like, yes. you cannot come to Czech no. Republic without trying Any, that. No. And, Svičkova and fried cheese, those are like. And fried cheese, did they have fried cheese here? No. Or not here, okay. Absolutely. Okay, but that's okay. But then we also are gonna get some of the wild boars, one of the game meats that they have today. A special beer for the man, but <laughs> it's only for you. Wow. So chef's name here is Fritsch. We just met him. He's very cool. He makes his own beer here that's only served at this restaurant as well. It's good too. Oh yeah. Guaranteed to refresh. And the color of that. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is a special spirit from Czech Republic. Ah, okay. This is from Moravia. This is Apriko spirit. 52 percent. Okay. This is a small doctor for you because everybody. I'm coming to holiday. I don't know. So South Africa, South America, you understand me? This is disinfection. Ah. So, a cup of tea, oh. slowly plenty for his eyes. <laughs> and the uh, carbs eyes, Carp eyes. watching like yes. slow movements. Yes. You understand me? Of the together. <sighs> Cheers. You must drinking. No, I <sighs> want mm, tasty. Okay. Because oh, it's, it's actually smooth. It's doctor. Yeah, it must it's be. It's smooth though for being. 52 percent. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This is the same with the tequila and I don't know. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll come cooking. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this beer is preparing not far from here. It's 
Okay, this is your city hoodie boss. Okay. And this beer preparing for my pump. Okay? Very good. Got to use two hands to carry this mug. <laughs> he's the chef here, and he's also the owner of the restaurant. Such a friendly guy, and he makes the restaurant as well. And as we were having that shot, uh, the starters have come, so we got a soup, and then we also got some pate, which is from uh, wild geese. And the liver, the with okay. The as well. with liver, a, oh, okay, okay. So different types of liver mm -hmm. and some like triangles with some sauce on the side. Okay, I'm gonna get a big chunk of that pate with a little bit of that cranberry sauce. Oh, it's just, that again is meat butter. Look at that, it's so creamy. Oh, wow. Oh, that is just stunning. That's richer and thicker than butter. A little bit of an animal taste, and then you've got like the sweetness of the cranberry with the saltiness of that creamy, livery. Mm. But with just enough texture. And what's also awesome is it's like, it's just so smooth. Mm. Whoa. This is a cabbage, cabbage soup. Yeah, some potatoes, cream, and there's potatoes, some, some uh, cream on the top as well. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some sausage in there as well. Yes. You can smell that. Mm. Mm. Sour and sweet, but really yeah. tomatoey tartness. Almost like hearty like a stew. Not like it. Maybe also like the sourness and the is coming from the cabbage. Really good soup. Jenom pro informaci. A zdraví. Is it okay if I sip this one? <laughs> Small after. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chef is such an awesome guy, and now he's inviting us into the kitchen to see him cooking after a couple shots. More family. <laughs> so, wow. My name, have you a special name, Napi Garni? Because last time in his shop, uh -huh. normal shop from everybody, he is uh, he is by I don't know, raw bread, I don't know, and the cup, I don't know, meat, milk. Uh, you understand me? Uh, yeah. Our bread. Nice. This bread is typical for... So he bakes all of his own bread starting in the morning at 7 a.m. Uh, this is the oven burning wood and he bakes those loaves, beautiful loaves of bread the traditional way with a fire oven. Um, but that starts in the morning. This is my beer? Come on. Yes. Okay, and from the oven he just opens up the door to the cellar. That is awesome. He's given us the full tour. Wow, fantastic. So, here is wine from the Czech Republic. And then my man for my bottles is uh, from uh, Prushanki. Okay. This is a uh, typical Moravia wine from Hodonin. And, uh, and the firm is Nechori. And uh, Mr. Hnirak. Okay. And the prepared this, this right. wine is for me. I know, red, rose, white, nice. and the some here is uh, wine a little bit from the from the France. Okay. Uh, so now he's just quickly showing us the outside patio area, which is mostly used in the summertime. Now he said it's closed. It would be a nice place with fresh air out here. Ready. I will need uh, uh, rose heap sauce. Pancakes. Okay. With the rice and the ready? The food. It's ready? No. This is uh, this uh, this dumplings, this cars but dumplings, this is from the roll. So okay. Oh wow. Oh that looks awesome. Yeah. Is that shin? Shall make cream sauce. <laughs> and the four of up, up. The amazing thing, I loved his style, like just laid back, 
chilled yet serious food at the same time. And he has all these different sauces prepared because uh, that's the way you have to have the sauces prepared in Czech Republic. Beautiful marbled piece of beef with sauce, with dumplings, with uh, cranberry sauce on top, and then also uh, the wild boar stew kind of. Uh, looks amazing. It does. What do you want to start with? Uh, let's start with the boar. The boar? Okay. Uh, chunk of the wild boar. Yes. Oh, sauce is very rich. Oh, it just yes. it just fell apart in my fork without me even like picking it up. Got that sauce. Oh. The sauce. Yeah, the sauce. Yeah, I'm really good. And the sauce is really rich, yeah. Yeah. And it almost has like a a fruity taste to it, the mm -hmm. sauce. Wow. It's thick and like like cranberry. Taste. Very hard. Yeah, like cranberry. You taste the cranberry and the sauce almost. Mm -hmm. And so this is a type of potato dumpling also. Oh, it's thick, like it's... Feels like gummy almost. I'm not a big fan of it. The I dumpling? I prefer it with the classic dumpling. Okay. Like this, but... Uh, is it a classic one or just a different style? No, this one is more... Okay. Mm. You taste the... I think you can taste the wine in that sauce too. Okay. You gotta try the other dish now. Again, that meat is so tender. Like you actually don't need a knife for it. You could just fork cut it. Um, but that meat is so tender. Again, all about that sauce. Mm. Sauce is just... Yeah, the sauce is almost like... It's almost like the consistency of caramel. Mm -hmm. It's like sticky and like melted. It's like melted meat. And yet, yeah, that beef is so tender. But. Wow. That's like one of the richest sauces. Mm. Both of them are extremely rich, extremely flavorful, and you can taste like the the slow process of the cooking. Yes. Like it's not like a... No, it takes hours. It's definitely not a sauce that he just throws together. He's cooking that since early in the morning, I'm sure. You can really taste the, the parsley in it or something. Um, and that just mops up that like caramely sauce. Wow. This one is like... I know the taste, so this yeah. is how it should taste. You, you like. can compare it to other versions. No, this one is one of the best. Awesome. That's cool to hear. Because this is my first time to eat it, so I can't compare it to anything. No, I think you had the... But it's really good. Best choice. Though. Okay. <laughs> the dumpling is actually incredibly good. Again, it just like sponges up that sauce. And that sauce, it's so thick. That's the final bite. That is what I'm going to remember Czech Republic by. Wow. The richness, the tender gooiness of the meat. Oh man. Okay, he wouldn't let me leave without no more. Bye bye, see you later. <laughs> That was very good, thank you. And walking out of there, the owner gave me a mug. That is awesome. That was like as much about the food, and the food is incredibly delicious, as it is about the chef, the owner, his, he is a character. The coolest, the best part of the entire day was hanging out with Peter. Peter is an amazing guy. Thank you so much, Peter, for taking us around. I'll have all the information in the description box that you can check out, and I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching, goodbye from Prague, and I will see you on the next video.